Artificial skin creates first ticklish devices. Mm. <laughs> A new interface developed by researchers in Bristol and Paris takes touch technology to the next level. All right. Researchers adopted a bio-driven approach to developing a multi-layer silicone membrane that mimics the layers present in human skin. Made up of a textured layer, an electrode layer, it can actually feel conductive threads. Hypodermis. Mm. It can detect interactions such as tickling, caressing, even twisting and pinching. You're a sick man, Will. You're sick, man. You need help. You need an e-rosary in your life. Yeah. It's, uh, it, I mean, this is, uh, they go got on, the, Will. They go got on, the, Will. The skin tone really, uh, really close. Yeah. It's not like, uh, a different color. It's pretty close. They, there's a video. Okay. You can watch the video. Super disturbing. Uh, you, yeah. You can hit play on that. Oh, yeah, okay, you have the same video there. Okay, perfect. You are squeezing <laughs> this skin stuff, caressing. She's caressing in the video. And it's interacting, again, as an input method for the smartphone, laptop, stroke, uh, tickle. Look at that. And it's bouncy, and it's firm like skin, and and it, and it just looks like skin. And it's got some dry spots as well. <laughs> it needs to be moisturized. <laughs> and they're claiming this is the future interaction method because of how uh, uh, dynamic the number of inputs are. So at first, let's say you have gestures when you had touch screens. Now it's beyond gestures because there's the amount of touch, pressure, and stroke and feel uh, they're saying it's going to give you so much more control but what are you controlling why will i think is this i think neither something like i think neither you or i want to say why will yeah in a show like this oh look at her she's like really but i will just say if you will if you're willing to go with me here for a second on a bit of a roller coaster here i don't know just go with me for a second Let's say it's completely a pure, pure agenda. 100% pure agenda. Oh, why are they pin they're pinching the girls' stuff now? <laughs> and there's a face on the laptop they were pinching that's the girls the for. They were pinching the girl's mad. face, and then the face was, hey, man, look, Jeez. go with me on this roller coaster for one minute, Will. I had this device for audio production. It was called the Seaboard. And the Rolly Seaboard. And it... It took the idea of a traditional keyboard input and it gave you these soft touch velocity sensitive keys essentially which had way more expressiveness available to you because all of a sudden now you could do bends and and you could manipulate the keys in such a fashion that just wouldn't be you wouldn't be capable of with a typical keyboard MIDI keyboard or otherwise and there's amazing demos right. you can watch online of how it's people... It's not uh, binary, kind of. It's more like analog. There's, like, different ways Yeah, there's a lot of nuance to it. And therefore, it works better for controlling other electronic instruments that aren't keyboards. Things like strings and guitars, where your expression would be different. Mm -hmm. And it's all very soft and weird when you first interact with it. But then it can also really op open your mind up to potential of mm -hmm. approaching instrumentation differently. So if you go with me on this roller coaster for a minute and you take your head away from where it was going, yeah, maybe once you unlock these different input methods, these more versatile or nuanced input methods, you can approach some different software that you can't even imagine right now. And maybe that's why they're showing this off mm -hmm. as, as a potential so that software developers can go and think about implementations we can't even imagine right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to positive route here. Yes, but it's just skin. Like, why is it skin? I mean, the Rolly Seaboard is black. It's it's. Oh, matte. you mean the color? And 
the texture, like it's wrinkly like skin. Well, because what they're saying, Will, is that skin, their pitch is that skin is really advanced as a touch input method. They're saying skin has more capability than a trackpad or a touchpad or a touchscreen. Skin is the original touch. Right. Like uh, y- your ability to discern nuance on your skin is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. I can, you could I poke you with this thing and be like, oh, I know what that is. A mm-hmm. little SIM card tool. Mm-hmm. You feel sandpaper. You know what it is immediately. Your 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 sense of touch is actually quite sophisticated. You just forget it because you're you're not out there thinking about it. Right. But it's 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 the other person that's actually feeling it. But this thing is like artificial. You know what I mean? If if you're poking me with like a needle, yes, like I would. But what feel they're saying is on the software, and it knows the difference. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mimicking skin on the other end allows the software to take the nuance of the input and translate that into a digital signal. So also like the ridges of the skin would provide some sort of like more accuracy. Exactly. Right. I see. So I imagine, yeah. I don't know, some futuristic version of Photoshop or something where all these little minor movements had, I don't know, I don't know about Photoshop. I'm just, yeah, but you're right. By them making it the color of skin and playing up the skin element, it, it, it takes you down a creepy path, but you don't have to go there. We can go where we want to go. That's the beauty of this show. We can go where we want to go. And I'm going the way I went when we took the roller coaster and I'm sticking to it. All right. Because that's the way. For now, at least. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I know what they're going to do. I know what they're going to (laughs) do. The internet does what the internet do. Right. Will he do? It is impressive, though. There you go. Let's just say that. All right. There you go.